Satish here. Welcome to Tips and Tricks video series. Today I am going to show you some tips. Let's jump into new. When we want to project multiple rotor shapes, we usually do we do a rotor, we connect with projection camera and project 3D node, and we project that into a geometry with scanline rotor connected through render camera. When I want to project another rotor shape, we usually copy this and paste it in somewhere in our script and remove this roto and connect our another rotor shape bang we'll start work from there and for another rotor shape we'll paste it again and we'll remove this roto and connect this imagine if you want to project like 20 30 rotor shapes in a different different places in your comp if you copy this setup in 20 times in your script with motion blur enabled then your script will become too heavy to fix that we usually pre-comp our rotor shapes here is the quick simple workflow to avoid multiple proto projection setup usually in my comp what i will do i will create all these three rotor shapes in one single rotor node with rgb color like we get roto render output from rotor department like we go to red channel and green channel and blue channel okay i'll close this i project it to my geometry when i render i'll get all these three rotor shapes in one single setup instead of these three multiple setups but you can ask me one question example my frame range is 50 and i want to use different different reference frame for my rotor shapes that time how this setup will work in that case you can use this method like in this what i have did i split my rotors into three different rotor shapes and i added different i'll change this to 10 change this to 20 what i did i connected my projection camera into all these three setup with different frame hold numbers and i used merge material node to merge all these three rotor shapes and i projected into my geometry and i check my output boom we projected all our three rotor shapes with different reference frame in one single projection setup okay i hope this makes some sense and it will help you in your day-to-day -day workflow okay let's jump into some bonus tips if you want to paint out small small lines no need to use any custom frame filling gizmos like you can do in a simple way i created these two rotor shape let's see how do we fix it out using any gizmos i am copying my alpha here and i do it pre-melt when i pre-melt i'll get this kind of result so that's why i inverted my alpha Instead of using any frame filling gizmo, simple method, add a blur node and then add an pre-melt. In the blur node, make sure you are enabling your mask to RGB alpha and invert it and increase the value. Boom. See, it fixed. You can add grain after this. Add grain node. Key makes. Grain in connect your mask into original letter. Bang. We removed these two lines without using any magical gizmos. I hope these tips help you all of you guys. See you soon with some other tips and tricks. Peace.